Hi, I'm Taryn. I just posted a video called Unlucky Lamar not too long ago. It was a school project that I did with a partner and it had to be five minutes long. It was, well, short. It was a little short that we did. We came up with a little story and did a storyboard and went out and shot it. What we originally created at least in pre-production is not what happened in post like pretty much everything you saw on camera was not what we originally intended but I think it came out okay for what we had as far as time and finding an actor and getting the equipment which it's not that getting the equipment was the problem it was renting it which was fine and carrying it around everywhere which was a hassle and actually getting it to work when you've never used it before that was a challenge but we worked through it and got better as it went along and I think it came out okay for our first time working together and our first time using this type of camera and I think we did well is there room for improvement? Yes. There are so many things that went wrong and every time I rewatch it I'm like I see more things that we could have fixed. A lot of them are my bad and I'm sorry for that. That quality of work could have been better if I just took the time to just go back over on the editing but I didn't because I was running late on time. And the video was already late for class, so I do it three. It was turned in like 30 minutes late because of exporting of all things. But one of the problems that I had with it was a couple of the shots were out of focus, which is very irritating. And I didn't, at first, I didn't notice that it was out of focus, which I should have. I wasn't paying attention, I was too busy. Like, okay, is there enough light in here? And we got the light. But then I was like, oh, I need to adjust the focus. And once I did, everything was clear from there on out. And then after, that was the number one problem, focus for those shots, which learned it before the end of the, of the project. So lesson learned. Second thing was the, the one scene that wasn't in black and white. It's just one. You can tell that his hoodie was orange the whole time. It was all in black and white. And it was nice. And I didn't go back and check to see if when I put the filter over it, if it worked. I didn't do it, which I should have. Should always triple check. And so now there's one part of it where it's in color and then it goes right back to black and white. Another thing I forgot to do was check when I was doing the title cards to make sure there were no spelling errors, no repeated words, everything was distributed evenly, did not do that. So there was a couple of repeated words, there was at least repeated words on one slide. There was something wrong with the dot dot dots on another slide which might be nitpick but they were like one and then two were closer together where it should have been dot space dot space dot was not and so there this was the problem. Well, from all of that I've learned from all that I've learned timing, make sure we have enough time for everything that you need to do. What you want to edit and how you want to edit, have that planned way ahead of time because if you get there and you're editing and it's the same day you have to turn it in and you're like I don't know how we need to have this done you're gonna be late regardless of oh no it's not gonna take that long if you have no idea what you're doing before you even start you're gonna have a problem and so it's not gonna happen and there's always gonna be a plan another thing that happened that I didn't like was that because I wasn't familiar with the camera it took a lot longer to get things done and so I 
I have my own camera now because the camera that we used was a Nikon D33. No, it was a D200. And it worked just fine, but I wasn't familiar with it. I have my own camera. It's a Nikon D5300. And I'm going to know everything there is to know about this camera. Who will soon have a name. I haven't picked it out yet. When I do, can't. We'll have truly bonded camera to have it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so what I've learned: always make time or plan ahead. Have everything planned out from start to finish. <clears throat> always triple check everything. Make sure everything is good to go. Oh, another thing I learned. Well, yeah, it goes under triple checking because there was a whole thing that we shot of him, of our wonderful actor Jalen, in the office. He was in the office, and that was when you were going to find out that he was fired. It was going to be like a flashback to when he was fired. All of that office switch, gone. Like, he was there, he was on the computer, got the phone call, and everything it was good to go no it was not good to go because when I went on my Google Drive to find the footage it was gone there was nothing there it wasn't fun last thing I learned before I forget because I keep remembering things that I learned always shoot shoot always shoot more than necessary Everything that you have, oh, you need a five minute video, well, you need to have like 15, 20 minutes worth of footage because maybe not, 20 minutes might be an exaggeration of how much you need, but you need at least double because if you don't, editing is going to be a lot harder for you. So a lot of the, the title cards came in great because it was supposed to be a voiceover. The title cards took up enough time to get us to reach that five minute mark. It was really beautiful. I was like, I was so grateful for those title cards. But yeah, that's pretty much the experience of Unlucky Lamar. I don't regret it. I thoroughly enjoyed the project. It was nice to, as far as like having a directorial debut rule, I think it could have been worse. So, for getting my feet in the water, I will always appreciate this piece. Anyway, catch you next time.